This is Manish Vijay from PM Pulse. I'm an independent consultant on project management, and recently I'm also an author for a book called uh, Read and Pass Notes for PMP Exams. Let me read out a passage from my book. Did you notice that there are no words like customer delight, customer value, added offerings, customer extras used at all while defining or discussing quality? Hard as it may sound, these words are superfluous at best and should never be used. The only term is customer satisfaction, which essentially means least defects and acceptable number of errors and bugs. Acceptable numbers of errors and bugs. There's nothing in the world known as bug free or error free. It's almost like being godliness and uh, doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> in fact, Terms like customer value added offerings and customer extras fall into the category of gold plating, which means giving something extra to the customer outside of the scope of the project. Gold plating is considered bad in project management. I'll continue. Difference between grade and quality must be clearly understood. A lot of people confuse quality with grade. I do a very interesting exercise during my traditional classroom trainings on quality or project management. I simply ask a question, which car has better quality? Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost or Tata Nano? Now Tata Nano, for those who don't know, is one of the smallest car uh, in the world. Uh, very cheap, in fact, it's cheaper than some of these uh, well-known motorcycle brands, <laughs> actually. Always, without fail, 90% of the participants choose Rolls-Royce to be a higher quality car. That's when I tell them that my question itself was wrong. And these two cars cannot even be compared. These two cars belong to a completely different grade. Quality cannot be compared across grade. Now imagine, and then there's a illustration which shows uh, quality versus grade, which I'm just going to show on this video uh, to you, to show you that how completely different triangles uh, are needed for different grades and how the entire market segment is created through these different sizes of the triangles and that's how the grades are decided. Now imagine this entire book filled with such clarity. That's why a lot of people are swearing by this book. Uh, they love it for two reasons. It makes passing the exams very easy because you don't have to mug up anything. You can answer questions by thorough understanding. You will not get manipulated uh, through these scenarios. You will just be able to answer. That's one. And the second is you become practically effective. When you speak, when you do your work, when you look at a project, when you plan, when you schedule, this book is filled with so many practical examples, so much of clarity of understanding that you become practically effective. That's what this book is all about. And that's what PM Pulse is all about. Practicality in project management. This is Manish Vijay from PM Pulse and the author of the book Read and Pass Notes for PMP Certification. Thank you for watching.